What we've been looking at is the origins of Polynesian tattooing and uh, what we found were some very old tools uh, that take us right back to the very beginning uh, of that tattooing tradition. They are 2,700 years old and that makes them by far the oldest bone tattooing chisels that we have found. It looks to us as if classic Polynesian tattooing, which was observed in the late 18th century by Cook and others, actually began in the place we call West Polynesia, which is made up of Samoa and Tonga. So it looks like it developed there, became a Polynesian tray, and then it spread through other parts of the Pacific, including the points of the East Polynesian Triangle, New Zealand, Easter Island, and also Hawaii, but it also went back into places like Micronesia. Bird bone is the normal material that most bone tattooing chisels are made with in the Pacific and Polynesia. Um, but human bone is quite interesting to us because when we look at the burials of the first people who came to the Pacific, uh, we find that it's very common for people to have gone back to the remains of their ancestors and they take out bones from them. And we're wondering why that has been. Um, are they you know, curating skulls and looking at skulls? or are they using some of their bones to make tools? So the fact that we have human bone tattooing chisels suggests that it could even be more important as a, as a kind of a cultural or, or spiritual aspect that you're taking the remains of your ancestors, turning them into tools, and then inking your body permanently uh, with those tools. This discovery um, has taken us right back uh, to the birth of, of Polynesian uh, cultural trays, uh, the things that make Polynesians typically uh, Polynesian.